Minglawa, welcome to the local news on Amai TV, Myanmar International Television. I am Sona. Here are the headlines. Fever surveillance conducted to the people in the Gong Township, Yango West District at the Uizara Housing Compound. Citra University, Pume, is being prepared as a 300 bed temporary hospital for rendering medical treatment to COVID 19 patients. 190 Myanmar nationals returned from Thailand through number two Time Myanmar Friendship Bridge. We'll be here with the news in details. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. Here are the news in details. Ministry of Health and Sport at 8 p.m. on Sunday reported 136 new COVID 19 cases after testing 1,391 less specimens. The tests were conducted in laboratories and general hospitals. COVID 19 cases in Myanmar had reached 2,932 with 20 deaths at 8 p.m. on the 13th of September. Most people infected with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. Older people and those with underlying medical problems are more likely to develop serious illness. The fever surveillance was conducted to the people in the Gong Township, Yango West District with the infrared thermometer at the West Uizarat housing compound on Saturday. With the guidance of Yangon region government, the program is being conducted in township wise. Since 8 September, the fever surveillance has been conducted in five wards of the Gong Township according to the Township COVID 19 Containment and Emergency Response Committee. <laughs> With the guidance of Yangon Region Government, FIVA surveillance is being conducted in all townships of Yangon West District, whether they are contact regions or not. The temperature screens are being conducted to people. Today, we'll conduct in five wards in the township. The officer of Township Health Department said that the program aims to prevent COVID-19 disease and if there are those who visited Rakhine State, the medical tests will be conducted to them. COVID-19 positive cases are found in the Gong Township. So we conduct fever surveillance in cooperation with the Township COVID-19 Prevention and Control Committee and the Township Concern Departments. We take surveys on their people who visited Rakhine State or not and had record. There are five wards in the Gong Township and the fever surveillance is conducted in all these wards. COVID-19 awareness is being conducted to people through loudspeaker announcement, according to the Gong Township COVID-19 Containment and Emergency Response Committee. As the COVID-19 infection is on the increase day by day in Yangon region, the places are needed for the positive patients. So, if necessary, the hospital tents will be installed at the COVID-19 treatment center, Pongji, if necessary. According to the director, Dr. Dan Iso of the Ministry of Health and Sports, with the support of Jiangong Region Government, the COVID-19 Treatment Center, Pongji, has been implemented to put COVID-19 patients in cooperation with the relevant departments under the Ministry of Health and Sports and the private organizations. 
At present, there are 100 to 150 COVID-19 patients at the center per day and nearly 700 patients there. It is estimated to place up to 1,000 patients at the center and, if necessary, the hospital tents equipped with oxygen facilities will be installed there. Currently, the COVID-19 confirmed patients are being given treatments at the Sitwe People Hospital, Sitwe Nursing and Midwifery Training School, and the Traditional Medicine Hospital in Sitwe. But the numbers of confirmed patients are increasing. Arrangements are being undertaken to prepare Sitwe University Bume as a 300 bed temporary hospital for rendering medical treatment. With the guidance of the State Health Department, COVID-19 prevention and control measures are being accelerated from all corners. Preparatory measures are being undertaken to give medical services systematically at the Tomori Hospital by Myanmar Red Cross Society with eight members, including volunteer doctors, health officers, and nurses. Measures are being undertaken to prepare four buildings in Sitwe University as 300 bed temporary hospital, and now preparations have been made to give treatment to about 100 patients. 200 COVID-19 COVID patients can be accepted in Sitwe People Hospital, and over 100 patients in Sitwe Nazant and Midwifery Training School, and Sitwe Traditional Medicine Hospital, altogether over 300 patients. But there are a total of 212 COVID-19 patients who are receiving medical treatment in Situe up to 12 September. So far, the temporary hospital is being prepared for convenience of health care service, according to the Public Health Department. Authorities and medical professionals have been making efforts for COVID-19 prevention, control and treatment. Out of the COVID-19 positive patients who are receiving medical treatment at Sitwe People Hospital in Rakhine State, eight more patients have been discharged from the hospital on the 12th September. The number of discharged persons in Sitwe from 5th to 12th September has been 171. At present, there have been 212 positive patients at the Sitwe People Hospital, Sitwe Nursing and Midwifery Training School, and the Traditional Medicine Hospital in Sitwe up to 12 September. Official president held certificates to the discharged people and called on following strictly health guidelines when they are arrived at home. The discharged persons have been put under a 70 home quarantine. Most people infected with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. Older people and those with underlying medical problems are more likely to develop serious illness. Medical professionals have been working hard to treat COVID-19 positive patients. In Gotham of the Nindai region, three patients have recovered from the disease and were discharged from Gotham District General Hospital. The three patients, case number 747, 748, and 749, are seamen who signed off at Gotham and were put under quarantine. They have been put under a seven-day hotel quarantine in Gotham, according to the Information and Public Relations Department. The Man National continued to return from Thailand from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on the 13th of September. A total of 190 persons returned through the number two Thai Myanmar Friendship Bridge in Nyawadi of Kenya State, Information and Public Relations Department reported. Officials checked their health condition and fulfilled requirements. The returnees are 115 men and 75 women from different regions and states. All the returnees are put under quarantine for COVID-19 prevention and control. 
COVID-19 prevention and control measures have been accelerated across the country as the number of COVID cases is on the increase. In Mandalay, Zecho Market and Manyamar Zecho Plaza have been closed since the 13th of September amid COVID-19 concerns. Date to reopen those places will be announced. Jaranabon Market will remain open in line with the COVID-19 guidelines. COVID-19 prevention and control measures are underway in regions and states. In Taunwenji Township of Magui region, thousands of masks and face shields donated by well-wishers were distributed free. Information and Public Relations Department reported. Officials have been making efforts for control of the spread of disease as more COVID-19 COVID cases have been found in the weeks. That is the end of the local news. Please stay tuned for the world news. Myanmar's performing arts have influenced cultures for centuries. Now, you have an opportunity to enjoy the many styles of Myanmar's traditional music, dance, drama, every week on MITV. Applaud the range and charisma of these influential arts. Showtime. Performances start at 9.30 Tuesdays on MITV. trip to hilly regions with beautiful green forests and a peaceful environment. A place home to share nationalities with colorful and amazing traditions. Welcome to the War News on MI TV, Myanmar International Television. I am Sona. Turkey president has taken aim at France leader following French criticism about Turkish maritime activities in the eastern Mediterranean that have ignited tensions with Greece and the European Union. In a speech on Saturday, Turkey's president claimed. French President Emmanuel Macron was targeting him. On Friday, Macron said, you don't need it to be clear and firm with Turkey President's government over its actions. France and Turkey have been at odds over an end block for Libya and over the situation in the eastern Mediterranean. At least two people were seen being detained by police on a main street on Sunday. 
it came just before the start of a planned rally against the country authoritarian leader. Thousands of demonstrators are expected to call for the resignation of President Alessandra Lukashenko, who has stranded his 26-year rule in a vote the opposition saw as rigged. The supporters of the government are expected to take part in a separate rally on Sunday. Several arrests were made after an illegal anti-lockdown protest was held in some inner city markets in Melbourne on Sunday. Australia's COVID-19 death toll stands at 810 after the state of Victoria reported seven more deaths on Sunday. Victoria Premier Daniel Andrews announced the state were preparing to ease restrictions very soon. Although metropolitan Melbourne might not be able to open up for business before October 26. It was Victoria 10th consecutive day. About 5 million Melbourne residents remain subject to a lockdown curfew between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. Oxford University says trials of a coronavirus vaccine it is developing alongside pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca will resume days after being paused due to a reported side effect in a patient in the UK. In a statement, the university said in large trials such as this, it is expected that some participants will become unwell and every case must be carefully evaluated to ensure careful assessment of safety. It said globally some 18,000 individuals had received steady vaccines as part of the trial. Though it will not disclose information about the patient's illness for reasons of participants' confidentiality, and AstraZeneca spokesman said earlier this week, a woman had developed severe neurological symptoms that prompt the pause in testing. Two Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies sitting in their patrol car were shot multiple times on Saturday. The 31-year-old female deputy and 24-year-old male deputy were able to radio for help and were both and a one surgery, according to the sheriff. Both deputies graduated from the academy 14 months ago. Officers were blanketing the area in search of the suspect. The residents of Moria village in Lesbos have expressed relief that a new camp is being built somewhere else after fire guarded the nearby migrant camp in the midst of a coronavirus lockdown early in the week. The Moria camp was built to house around 2,750, but overcrowding led to more than 12,000 people living in squalor. A new clothes facility is being built by the Greek Army at a former artillery range four kilometers down the road from Moria. That's all we have for now. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more news.